Hi, this is Terry Vanoy, and welcome into my online classroom. This is Math with Mr. V. I want you to remember that while you watch these videos, these lesson videos, I am going to talk you through the concepts and then present a problem for you to try. So grab a piece of paper and you can pause, rewind, even fast forward anytime you'd like. So good luck. Let me know how it goes. Now we're factoring trinomials using trial and error. However, the leading coefficient is not 1. In other words, the very first term has some number other than 1 in front of it, which just makes it a little more complex. Let's take a look. Here's a strategy you can use. I am going to write out my parentheses so I know that I have a binomial times a binomial. And I'm going to take a look at the first coefficient there, which is 2. The only way to make a 2 is a 2 times a 1. An 18 over on the third term there can be created by 1 times 18, 2 times 9, 3 times 6, and those are the only factor combinations for 18. Now sometimes it's helpful to write this vertically. In other words, 2 and 1, and 1 and 18, 2 and 9, and 3 and 6. Okay, just a suggestion. What we need to do is figure out the best way to get our middle term of negative 9x. Well, I know I have to have a 2x here and an x here. Actually, the order doesn't matter. I just adjust everything else. And I want to see where this 2 matches up here. So I'm going to try different combinations. How about 2 times 1 and 1 times 18? Is that going to work? Notice that my 18 is negative, so I have to have a positive negative combination in my binomials. Well, that means I'm going to have to be subtracting some kind of value. I don't think a 1 and an 18 is going to work. Let's try. 2 times 2 is 4. 1 times 9 is 5. 1 times 9 is 9, excuse me. And if I am going to subtract that, nope, that's not going to work. How about, and see how this is trial and error, how about 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 9 is 18. There's no way to get a negative 9 out of that combination. So my final guess is to use a 2 and a 1 on the left and a 3 and a 6. Let's see what the right combination is. How about 2 times 3, which is 6, and 1 times 6, 6 and 6? No, that'll either give me a middle term that drops out or a 12. Nope, that's not going to work. So, let's try the last combination, which would be 2 times 6 is 12, and 1 times 3 is 9. Ah, that works. So, notice that the 2 has to be combined with the 6. That means that the 6 needs to go on my last part here, and the 3 must go here. Now, we want to make sure we get the sign correct. And so the 2 and the 6 must make a negative 12. Let's try a negative there and a positive there. So the last step is, of course, to double check your answer. So let's try that. 2 times x, or 2x times x is 2x squared. 3 times negative 6, negative 18. So far, so good. The inside numbers, 3 times x is a positive 3x. The outside numbers, 2x times negative 6, negative 12x. Does that give me the proper middle term? Yes. So there's my answer. Final answer. Binomial 2x plus 3, x minus 6. It's a lot of trial and error, a lot of guessing and checking, but if you write it out in sort of a vertical factor list form, sometimes you can find the right combination. Hit pause and try the one on the right. One on the right. So let's continue with this example. 3y and y is the only way to make 3y squared in my first term. And a negative 8 is, as you can see by my vertical factor list, a combination of 1 times 8 or 2 times 4. So let's try out different combinations to see if we can make our middle term of negative 2y. Let's try 3 times 1 and 1 times 8. Well, that would be 3 and 8. And any way to add or subtract those to get a negative 2? No. How about a different combination using those numbers? How about 3 times 8 is 24 and 1 times 1 is 1? 24 is going to be way too big. There's no way to get a negative 2 middle term there. 
All right, so we can erase that and then ignore that. Let's try, how about three times two is six, one times four is four, six and four. Ah, that is a definite possibility. So the three times the two should be the bigger number to give me a negative six. So let's try a negative two here and a positive four there. Last step, double check, using the FOIL method, multiply it out and see what you get. How about 3y times y? 3y squared. 4 times negative 2? Negative 8. Inside terms is positive 4y. Outside terms, 3y times negative 2 is negative 6y. And that would give me the middle term I'm looking for. Final answer, 3y plus 4 and y minus 2. All right, how'd you do? Hopefully you understood the concepts. Um, remember that um, if you want a related video or a concept that's similar and or just extra practice, email me and let me know. I can record a new one for you and we can customize it. Once again, this is Terry Vanoy in my online classroom with Math with Mr. V.